Hello, this is the Mixed Models in Quantitative Genetics. I'm Guilherme Rosa from the University of Wisconsin. And I'm the co-instructor, Bruce Walsh from the University of Arizona. Mixed models are kind of like the duct tape for quantitative genetics. They do a huge amount of things, and they've also become very popular in genomics, GWAS. It's probably one of the most flexible statistical tools you can have, and this module is going to cover their theory and application to a wide variety of problems in genetics. Yes, and before we start uh, talking about mixed models, we are going to go through a quick overview of matrix algebra, some basic concepts, some uh, matrix operations, the concepts of determinant, inverse, and etc. We are going to discuss how we use matrices also to solve systems of equations, singular value decomposition, and other things. After that, we are going to go through a discussion on general linear model. So just to make sure everybody is on the same page. So we are going to discuss least square, uh, least squares method for estimation of parameters and show uh, applications with regression and analysis of variance. After that, we will give you a brief uh, history of uh, mixed models, where they started and what was the, the main application. So it it was actually invented in the context of animal breeding, more specifically in dairy cattle breeding. So you want to estimate genetic merit of bulls for sex limited traits like milk yield. So mixed models were very important uh, in this context. So after this introduction, we are gonna give you some uh, base concepts of linear mixed models is starting with a very important question and distinction between fixed and random effects. So we'll discuss model assumptions and how to estimate the fixed effects and random effects in, in the models using blue and blood methodology. So then we'll show you some of the applications of mixed models. There are many, as Bruce just mentioned. We will start with the animal model. There is a, a, a mixed model applied in animal breeding and now widely used in plant breeding as well. And you see that this methodology also has been applied now in, in personalized medicine in humans uh, for estimation of complex traits and the prediction of complex traits and risk to disease and so forth. So we'll show you how uh, we use pedigree information to feed these models with the familiar relationship between individuals to get these parameter estimates. So a third component of this model, so in, uh, aside of estimating fixed effects and random effects, is the estimation of variance components and also and of course functions of those variance components such as heritability. So we will discuss ANOVA methods and then probably you have heard about maximum likelihood and the REMO, the residual maximum likelihood approach. So we are going to show you the distinction between them and also we'll present the Bayesian methods using MCMC, the Markov chain Monte Carlo approach. So after we have this discussion with pedigree information, we are going to use, show you how we can use genomic information to improve even more the, the predictions of these models, the, the inference. So we are going to show you, uh, discuss uh, prediction of complex traits using genomic information. So this is very important, not only in precision medicine, but also in, in agricultural uh, breeding. And so we are going to show you methods such as shrinkage estimators using penalized regression or Bayesian methods and the famous GBLA model. So a kind of animal model with genomic information used to model the relationship between individuals. So there are many applications of mixed models. So we are going to show you some other variations and extensions of models. For example, when you want to analyze multiple traits simultaneously to estimate, for example, generic correlation between traits, we are going to discuss genotype by environment interaction. 
and models including maternal effects or permanent environmental effects, associative effects, and so forth. We are going to show you also how we extend the mixed model methodology, the linear mixed models, so that you can analyze binary data or count data that is very common in, 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 in many applications in, in, in quantitative genetics. So your instructors, I'm one of the co-instructors, Bruce Walsh, and our two textbooks on quantitative genetics are basically built around using mixed model methodology. Uh, Guillermo and I have taught this course a lot. It's a lot of fun. We really enjoy teaching, and we hope to give you kind of a good perspective, both theory and application, in breeding, evolution, genetics, genomics, quite widely. Very good. And here, so my, again, my name is Guilherme Rose, and I just list here a few publications just to show you the variety of applications that we have with mixed models, both uh, in plants and animal, like animal breeding and plant breeding, and also in human research and natural populations as well. I hope you choose to attend this course, and I want to bring to your attention that we Bruce and I teach also another module together, that is the quantitative genetics, and it may be a good idea to take both the quantitative genetics and the mixed models applied to quantitative genetics together. We have fun teaching this, and we think you'll have a good time, so we, we look forward to uh, teaching you in the fall.